How's everybody doing? My name's Tim, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get the Time Warner cable application working on your tablet once again after the most recent update. <clears throat> Previously, a member of the community named Boosted released a version of the Time Warner app that uh, had the checks for root access removed. Recently, Time Warner Cable uh, ran an update to it, and when you logged into your Time Warner app, it would force you to update. Once you got it from the market, it once again would not allow you to work if you had a rooted device. So people in the community have discovered how to go ahead and fix this, and it basically involves a couple of steps. Uh, for some people, they can stop at one of the steps. A lot of other people, especially running the Cyanogen mod, need to go ahead and go a little further. So here's my HP touchpad. I'm using my Asus Transformer to go ahead and record this video. Now the touchpad is running a Cyanogen mod, so this will go deeper into the steps. The first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and show you guys that the app is working. So I'm going to use my Freedom Pro keyboard over here to pull it up. And you can see there's the logo. That should come up to <clears throat> the video pretty soon here. And there it is. There is Time Warner Video working on my HP touchpad. So we're going to go ahead and come out of it now. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is to go into your settings, go into apps, And you can probably get to it through the downloaded category. And there it is under the T's. You're going to tap it. From here, just to be sure, do a force stop and then do a clear data. Then go ahead and uninstall. Now I'm not going to take that step on mine because as you can see from the beginning of the video, it's working. So go to force stop go to clear data, then go and uninstall it. From there, get an application called Root Browser, excuse me, Root Explorer, and install it. Then go ahead and bring it up. When it comes up, I like the, the way that this one works a little bit more than ES File Explorer's items. Sometimes on the touchpad, ES File Explorer, when you go to mount things as uh, read write, it gets a little sketchy. So, once you have Root File Explorer up, scroll down until you see the system folder. Go into System, and then go into App. Now, these are all the system apps of your ROM. So, you're going to scroll down towards the bottom, and you'll find superuser.apk. What you're going to want to do is you're going to hold your finger on it and you're going to hit rename. Now before you do that you need to come up top and hit the mount RW button and tap it so that says mount RO. After you do that, that's when you go ahead and do the step of renaming super user to su.apk. This hides it from the Time Warner Cable app check but it still leaves it on the device and still leaves it functional. So as you can see here, Mine has already been renamed. Leaving the uh, area mounted, come back up a directory, and then go ahead and you'll see build.prop over here. Making sure that the mount button still says mount RO, which means you're in read-write mode. Hold your finger down on build.prop, and go ahead and hit the option that says Open in Text Editor. Now 
if you get an error that you can't edit it, it means you're not in the right mode. The line that you want to look for is about 10 lines down, and it says RO build tags equals. What you want to do is make sure nothing is there. RO build tags equals. That's the last thing you want to have in there. Notice how our mind is blank. All the other settings have valid entries in it. RO build tags is blank. It should probably say test keys for you. After you blank it out, you're going to want to hit your button to save and exit. I'm going to go ahead and back out. And then once you've got that saved, turn your mount back off. Once you've done all of these particular steps, you're going to want to go ahead and reboot the device. Similar to the Windows registry, uh, things in build.prop only take uh, effect on boot up. So once you reboot the device, you'll come back up to your normal home screen and everything. The super user will have been renamed SU. And the system file that tells the tablet where the test keys are is now blank. So now the Time Warner Able Cat, the Time Warner Cable app, has done two checks: super user and test keys, both of which have now been hidden from the check. From there, go back to the Play Store. hit the magnifying glass and you'll see TWC app actually happens to have been recently searched for for me. So it'll be back at the Time Warner once. You're going to want to go to the purple one for TWC TV and you're going to want to go ahead and install. After it's installed, the final check that I would do, some people have gotten away with it, some people haven't, but for most of my devices, be it my Asus or my touchpad, go back into your settings Go over to developer options, and for some people it's USB debugging, for some people it's Android debugging, make sure this is unchecked. Once it's unchecked, you're going to want to go back into the Time Warner app, and it'll come up for the very first initial load, so it'll probably ask you to sign in and everything. And there you go, Time Warner Video. And after you pick a channel, uh, oh boy, let's pick something interesting here. And you can see there's the performance of it. Now this is on an HP touchpad that is overclocked at 1.4. And this video is running absolutely beautifully smooth. You can see the action is not stilted, it's not chunky. Everybody's moving around as if it's normal TV. Now my Asus is a little choppy for some reason. Still not too sure yet why. But there you go. So that is how you get the Time Warner Cable app running again on tablets or ice cream sandwich devices until somebody like Boosted releases another version of it. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps out. Hope I'm able to get back to the community that's been providing me with ROMs and support for a couple of years. So everybody enjoy. Thanks a lot.